Crimson Tide fans, before we get today's video started, be sure to hit that big red button and subscribe to your one-stop shop for everything Alabama football. The Alabama Football Report, we're bringing you news, rumors, some overreactions, and even some recruiting news as well. It's your one-stop shop for everything Alabama football, and maybe it's even Nick Saban approved too. Just hit that big red button so you can stay in the know on your Crimson Tide all season long. Welcome into the Alabama Football Report. I am your host, R.C. Maxfield, and after a win down in Gainesville, not an easy win for the number one Alabama Crimson Tide. The Tide will head into a week against Southern Miss, but first, let's talk about some standouts. The five players that won awards for the week against Florida, named by the coaches of Alabama. So let's start this real quick. We got Jace McClellan. We got Brian Robinson Jr., Will Anderson Jr., but the juniors getting there. For Darian Mathis and Jordan Battle. Now, McClellan and Robinson were on offense, Anderson and Mathis defense, and then on special teams was Jordan Battle. But the guy I really want to talk about here is for Darian Mathis. The defensive line for the Crimson Tide has been kind of the weak spot on defense, right? You have a trio of linebackers, which we'll talk about in just a minute, that have really helped shape this defense, and the secondary is coming along as well. You just wish you could have a little bit more pressure on the quarterback. Now, you look at Mathis' stats there. He did have half a sack and seven tackles. Six of them were assisted, one solo. But if he can step up, and be that guy on the defensive line and be that leader, that is instrumental in part of this because DJ Dale has kind of seemed like he's taking a step back a little bit. If Matthias can step up and be that difference maker on the defensive line, I think it takes the Alabama defense to that next level. But as I mentioned, there just needs to be more guys to step up on that D-line. I think the run game is something to watch as Florida went close to 300 yards on the ground against the Crimson Tide in their SEC opener. That's got to change a little bit, especially when you get deeper into the SEC schedule and hopefully when you play Georgia down in Atlanta for the SEC title, that has to get better. And I think Mathis is the key to it getting better for that run defense for the Crimson Tide moving forward. But you tell me, who was the biggest Bama standout at number 11, Florida? Again, those were the five that won awards, two from offense, two from defense, and then Jordan Battle on special teams. You let me know. I don't want to disagree with Nick Saban and crew. But damn it, I'm taking Bryce Young. You already know how I feel about this guy right here. I love me some Bryce Young. My standout is Bryce Young from that number 11 Florida game because when you ask a freshman quarterback, a well, sophomore, excuse me, and Bryce Young, to go in there and really try and go into a hostile environment, he's never played in front of that many fans before. You think about last year when he got some reps. It was obviously the COVID year, so he didn't really get a lot of reps in front of screaming fans, at least he did at a limited capacity and not a full house. And the Swamp is one of the hardest places to play in the SEC, as we all know. I thought Bryce Young threw, showed poise, had one bad throw that was dropped by a Florida Gator linebacker that probably should have been a pick. But overall, I thought he was admirable as the quarterback for the Crimson Tide and really helped that offense propel themselves to a 31-29 win down in the swamp. BetUS is today's sponsor of the video. Head over to chatsports.com slash Tidebet and get the best deposit bonus on the internet today. All you got to do is use the promo code TIDE125. Now, what is that promo code going to do for you? Let's say you go up and you set up an account over on chatsports.com slash Tidebet and you put down... I don't know, $200. You're feeling frisky on this one after that Alabama nail biter down in the swamp. They'll match it and then some. They will give you $250 on that kind of deposit. If you deposit $200, if you deposit $100, it's $125. And then you could have up to $225 if you deposit $100 on the site. First time users, head over to chatsports.com slash Tidebet. Use that promo code Tide125 and you will get the best deposit bonus on the internet. 125% deposit bonus. You're reading that right. It's not a typo. I promise you it's the best one on the internet. You don't even need to go look. Go head over to BetUS, chatsports.com slash Tidebet. Will Anderson is Fastly becoming my favorite player on the defense for the Alabama Crimson Tide. He, he kind of does everything. I think every Tide fan knows that. But he's really part of a trio of linebackers that are slowly coming together to be, in my opinion, the best in the country. 
I really believe that, and Will Anderson is that mainstay for them because if he can do a lot, he can rush the passer, drop back into coverage. But the linebackers I'm talking about are obviously Henry Teo Teo and then Christian Harris. You lost Allen early in the year to an injury, and he'll be out for the season, but you still have plenty of linebacker depth at Alabama as it's really become linebacker U of sorts, right? And you look at these three guys right here, all basically at the 20 total tackle mark through three games, which is kind of impressive since Will Anderson really didn't play in the second half against Mercer, and neither really did Harris or Henry. So when you're looking at these linebackers in the trio, I mean, for me, they're the best trio in the country. I don't know who compares, to be honest with you, and, and that's saying something after you lose Allen for the season. I mean, this could be, you know, the best really four linebackers in the country in terms of just having them on the same team. It's it's a great problem to have if you're the Alabama Crimson Tide, but Will Anderson is that MVP for me in terms of the defense because of his versatility, getting to the passer, being able to put his hand in the ground, also helping with the run game, also dropping back into coverage. He really is the best kind of linebacker in this Nick Saban defensive system to really just help propel the Crimson Tide to the promised land and where they really just seem to always be every year. And uh, obviously down in Atlanta would help and he'd go a long way in helping that Georgia run game be neutralized. But what you think? Is Will Anderson Jr. the most important defensive player for the Crimson Tide? Type Y for yes, type N for no. You know I am spamming that Y button down in the comments. I think he is pivotal to the Alabama Crimson Tide success on defense. And you kind of saw that against Florida. He was a difference maker having seven tackles. And really, I thought it was just awesome to see him out there playing after that scary knee injury against Mercer where some questioned if he should have even been out there to start the second half. Well, he played against Florida and made a major impact for the Crimson Tide. Speaking of the Crimson Tide, you want to know everything there is to know about Alabama football, this is the place to do it. Be sure to hit that big red button and subscribe to the Alabama Football Report. We're giving you multiple videos weekly, and the best part about it, they're all free. Be sure to hit that big red button and stay in the know on your Alabama Crimson Tide all season long right here on the Alabama Football Report. It wouldn't be an Alabama Football Report video if I didn't type or talk about Bryce Young, right? I mean, I have to talk about him. It's just the facts. I'm, it's, it's a contract thing. I have to do it. I'm sorry. Those were his stats against number 11, Florida. 240 yards passing and three TDs. But I bring this up because I think Bryce might be the Heisman front runner Now, looking at the odds right now currently, who is leading the race? And I want to preface this. It is early, right? We're talking week three of the college football season. This is going to change, but you look at some of the names on here. You got an Ohio State quarterback. You got a UNC quarterback, a Cincy quarterback. Who saw that coming? The biggest two schools on here are with Stroud and Young, but then you got Corral down at Ole Miss, and we know Lane Kiffin likes to sling the ball around down there in Mississippi, right? That's going to be the game I want to watch this year because I truly believe that when it comes down to it, whoever wins that game, and I think Alabama will, that quarterback will be squarely in the lead for the Heisman Trophy moving forward because what it comes down to is these are two great offenses, right? You have Young, you got Corral over for the Rebels at Old Miss. It's going to come down to these two guys, simple and plain. That's what's going to happen. That game against the Rebels in the Crimson Tide will, in my opinion, right now as it stands in week three or after week three going into week four against Southern Miss, will determine who wins the Heisman Trophy in college football. Obviously, a lot of things can change. It's early, but I do thoroughly believe that right now. But predict the future for me. Who will win the Heisman Trophy this season? I got Bryce Young. You tell me down in the comments below. I'm sticking with the Crimson Tide QB, and you should too.